Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Index Online. Today we're here with a brand new Tavern Brawl. This Tavern Brawl went live I think a few hours ago and it is a pretty much random Tavern Brawl. There's no secret to it. It is really just random. It is literally called Randomonium. An encounter at the crossroads under a mana storm. Choose a class, get random cards. Each turn your cards cost are randomized. So really, honestly, no idea how this is going to go. I won my first time I played. I've only played it once. And we're just going to choose Priest. The first time I chose... Actually, we're not going to choose that. We're going to choose Warlock. I would say go Warlock just because their ability to uh, draw another card as a hero power is really good. Especially because the mana cost of those cards are literally going to be... They could be from 1 to 10 on any given day. So really, just drawing as many cards as you can I think will really help you guys if you're playing this and trying to get the pack. That's how I got my very first... That's how I got my first win out of, I was one for one, got my first one on my first play, and got that pack. Of course, I got nothing good out of the pack, but that is nothing new. <laughs> anyway, we're facing against a Paladin, which I think is actually pretty good. And because these things are completely ram randomized, I would go for the highest mana cards that you can get. Because these things are immediately going to change uh, on your first turn, and they could be worth one, they could be worth ten. And a small mana card could be worth 1 or 10 either way. So really, it does not matter. But anyway, guys, so these things are 4. These things is 3. So we're just going to end our turn because we can't really do anything. And see what this guy plays. And because this thing is literally so random, you can really get screwed over. Like, this guy could play some sort of legendary at the very beginning. Because he's got a the coin. And okay, that's not too bad. I mean, it's not good, but it's also not, not bad. So... Battle Cry to Story Beast. We're not going to play that just yet. We're going to play this thing and see what we get. Oh, well, we know what we're going to get, but there we go. We su summon three minions. Uh, it's really that. It's not that good of a play because this guy has five health and he's going to be able to take out two of these if I put these guys into that, that guy. But, you know, I had to play something and, oh, I hate that card. Actually, no, that card actually works really well because we can actually clear the board with these three minions because this guy's a one one this guy's got one health it's fantastic and then we're gonna see what we can do right here and that is actually a really good play we are playing against a good guy so now i can't wow i really did not expect that <laughs> but uh we can just go like that and take out that guy we do have two so we're just gonna draw another card and that was really worthless whatever uh, we're going to bring those guys both into there and just try to keep the card advantage. And we're going to play the best card that we can next time. I'm really hoping that he plays a beast, even though paladins don't really have a lot of beasts in their hand. Because I can just destroy any beast. Maybe you target this minion with a spell. Excellent. So, the pit lord, this guy, and this guy. Alright. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So there we go, guys. As you guys can see, we've got an impressive, uh, an impressive like minions on the board or uh, something like that. I don't really know, but we are in a good position right here. We've got a little bit less uh, less health than his hero, but hopefully he doesn't have a board clear because that'd be really annoying. All right, that that's okay. He's still got a six health uh, guy in the way. And is this guy a beast? No, of course it's not. That guy's not a beast either. So hoping with the random cards that it hopefully would be a beast, but I guess not. So how do you want to deal with this guy this turn? Well, I can tell you this. We want to do this. Take out this guy. We are very unlucky right there, but it's not like that matters because we got this one too. So we're going to try to keep on board control. So we're going to take out that guy. That will leave this guy alive, and we're going to attack his face. There's probably... Okay, the secret did not activate there, so that means that it's... I don't know, I hardly ever play as Paladin, so I don't know the secrets. It's something that I'm kind of annoyed with, at least. Hmm. He's got no pirates in his deck. Something that I'm kind of annoyed with is the fact that... Oh, shoot, I, I should have checked this. Are any of these beasts? They are beasts. Are any of these demons? No, they're not. Ah, oh, no, that was a misplay right there, guys. But whatever, we're fine. We're just going to go straight for face. Because he's going to have to chew through this 6 health taunt. And we can do a lot of damage in the meantime. So hopefully he won't be able to get through any of these. Might as well play all these minions. 
I don't think he's probably gonna have a board clear and uh, okay that's not bad it's actually not bad at all but still he's gonna he I've got two taunts in the way he's got to get to this guy because that guy can do eight damage and he's got to get he I don't think he can do it but <laughs> it looks like we're gonna have a very very fast victory so don't tell you I never gave you guys anything because I'm giving you a lightning fast victory just an explanation of my greatness at Hearthstone because I am going to be a professional. Just kidding. Um, what does this do? What does that do? Okay. There we go, guys. I think that took like maybe like three minutes and we've already got a victory. So that's great because I literally never play with Gul'dan. So that's going to level up my Warlock, which is absolutely fantastic. And we're going to play one more time just to show you guys that that wasn't just a stroke of luck. Like, I'm that good at Hearthstone. I'm just putting that out there. I'm amazing. Anyway, guys, <laughs> I've actually have a fair amount of you guys that have actually befriended me. I've played against a couple of you guys. This one's a subscriber. This guy's a subscriber. This just guy's a random met. A bunch of these guys are subscribers, and they have played against me. So, honestly, guys, it's a lot of fun. If you'd like to add me, add me right now. I'll teach you some lessons on Hearthstone, show you how to play like a real G. And it'll be fun. You're gonna lose terribly. It's gonna be a dickin', but you know, gotta do, gotta do what you gotta do. All right. So, you know, I'm actually kind of, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm not feeling Leroy Jenkins, but I'm feeling the rest of the cards. Those cards could be pretty good. Uh, the summoning portal portal maybe not, but if we can get that out really early, like say this is one and this is one, I've never played Lord Draxus ever before, so I'm kind of worried that it might be. Ooh, th this could be good. Might as well do that. All right, Pit Lord and Void Walker. All right, it's a little bit worried if I play this, it's actually gonna give me 15 health. I'm not really sure what, I don't really know what this guy does. I've never had this card before, never played it before. So we'll keep this as a little, little reminder, not a reminder. What am I saying? A little like backup plan. It's my last ditch attack. Um, he's healed me. Thank you. Thank you, kind sir. And we are going to play the battle cry or uh, the dread. <laughs> I read the wrong thing right there. Anything like this I'm gonna do the summoning portal and next turn if we want to if we can if these stay the same they probably won't we can summon a hell of a lot of stuff because not only is it random but this also decreases it by two mana so it's gonna be good guys it's gonna be good sadly it can't put it more down than one because a couple of these would have been zero and I could have played them but you know you can't have everything in life but we've got a pretty big board presence already priests don't really have big board clears which is really good so we're in a pretty good position they do have strong oh shit jesus christ all right so these guys are literally all one so let's go like this let's go like this and let's go like this so i just summoned a bunch of stuff for him but honestly that should not matter what are we gonna do with this so what does this guy do? That guy doesn't really do anything. Um, so I think we're going to go like this. Just take out that light wall while we can. And go like this. Take out that dragon. Now he's got six. So he's got eight damage on the field. So he can't actually take out all of these minions, which is good. Because if it was, um, we need to keep minions on the field. So at the end of each turn, this is not the only minion up there. Because otherwise it'll destroy itself. And we do have 15, 20 damage on the field. Um, might be worth it to play this guy, and we'll see what we'll see. We will see what we draw, because if everything goes well, if we can maybe have a spell or something, we might be able to get lethal next turn or get him very, very low because we have so much damage on the field. He's probably going to want to also take out the summoning portal, and that is annoying. But it really does not do anything to me, except it literally just wow. All right, that's a way to take care of my summoning portal. <laughs> All right. And that was also a very good play. Wow. Okay, this guy this guy knows what's up. I'm not going to lie. 
and uh, let's go. So we're actually gonna draw again because we got absolute crap, and we're just gonna play this guy and we're gonna play this guy. He's got a taunt, and so this we've actually got two taunts out here. So you know what? I'm ready for a face race. If he wants to face race me, that actually probably wasn't the best move, but I don't think he can take out all three of those minions and have this guy kill himself. Um, hopefully Cho'Gal or Lord Jaraxxus will mana cost health instead of mana. Hopefully one of these guys will be a lot lower as soon as we get this done. There we go. That's good. That's good. So now these guys are all down to one. So if I could get, like, if I was a mage right now, I could have something like Arcane... Something rather that deals one damage each minion, that'd be great. But we don't, so whatever. So I think he's probably going to play some other stuff. Uh, if holding a dragon deal, three damage. Uh, he's not holding a dragon, thank goodness. And these guys just completely went up. But we got an excellent legendary worth only one mana. So we can draw a beast. We can draw that. And we can draw that. So what do we want to do right now? So that's worth six. This one's one. Um... You know what? Let's just let's just play all these guys. Um, I need to get some damage on the field. And I need to take out some of these guys so they don't take out me. So yeah, sure, don't matter. Let's take out this guy. Then let's take out this guy. And so basically, what this means is that he has to send. He either has to do something with his cards, or he has to spend all of his dudes taking out this Tom if he wants to get to any of these guys, which will be good. This guy can then restore some health to my hero. It probably won't be there very much because it only does one. And there we go, guys. I told you. I'm literally the best at Hearthstone. Watch me for the on the professional circuit. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Anyway, guys, that is the Hearthstone Tavern Brawl. Very quick, very neat, very random. I won twice, though, because I'm just an all-around G. So I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this video. And subscribe if this is the first time you guys seen me. Oh, and leave a like on the video. You know, I'm just getting to all this different stuff at a different time. Anyway, 